So by the end of this video, I'll teach you how to make these 3D award winning $10,000 worth websites using AI in a few minutes. So again, as you can see, this is all done by AI and this looks extremely premium. This is something to what Apple does. Like this is exactly what Apple does. It makes a 3D rendering and then it adds frames and it just makes up the whole animation. So this is what Apple does and I'm going to teach you how to do it from scratch. We are going to be using Google's new IDE, which is Google Anti-Gravity. So let's just jump right into it. First things first is again, how do you make a $10,000 award winning AI 3D website using Google Anti-Gravity? Well, number one is we need to get a product. So in case of, uh, in, in our case, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this product, which is Sony WH-1000 XM6 Black. It's a, it's a headphone. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly save this image real quick. Go on Google, save the image, and then here's the complete prompt pack which you need. So this prompt, we have, uh, again, product description. This is a universal prompt which allows us to generate some crazy looking visuals for our product. And obviously, we need to put a product description before we put this uh, particular prompt in. So this is kind of what we have here. So to generate images, open a new tab and search for Whisk. Whisk is by Google and it allows you to generate images and it's a very good image generation tool. And I personally love it because of how fast it is and how simplistic it makes things. So once you go to Whisk, click on Browse Gallery and click on Create. And you'll be redirected to your, to your Whisk workspace. Now, Towards the right hand side, you can add a subject. So I'm going to quickly grab our Sony headset and add this as a subject. And the next thing what I'm going to do is quickly go to a prompt document, grab the universal prompt. Now go to the very top and tell it that I want the headphone in horizontal orientation. It should look premium and high end product shot. So this is being specifically done for our hero section. As you can see, uh, if I go to headphones, so this is our hero section. And for the hero section, we need it to be horizontal because hero section is horizontal. So that's what uh, that's how it kind of works. So it kind of bursts open. And this is what we need. So to give you a faster rundown, we'll generate the first image and the last image, and then we're going to animate this. Once the animation is done, we're going to generate a bunch of frames. And then we're going to set up Google anti-gravity and put those bunch of frames inside Google anti-gravity and I'll give you the prompt. Just put in the prompt, put the frames inside the particular folder and boom, it's done. As simple as that. So again, uh, while as you can see, Whisk has generated uh, and this actually looks pretty damn sick. Let's actually click on save. Now once it's done, let's actually get the explosion prompt. So let's quickly grab the explosion prompt here and I just and let's remove and exchange the universal prompt with the explosion prompt and click on shoot. So we're gonna get outputs on how the exploded view would look like. And that's how we're gonna do it. Now, again, you can also generate a, maybe a side view and then generate a, generate a video using VO for the exploded view. So again, this is how you can do it. And this all works on a scroll. So the, the more you scroll, you can I can also stop at this particular position to see what's actually going on. And if I go into technology, so as you could see, technology redefined, 30 mm precision driver, and you know, all of this is done completely by AI. It's actually pretty insane. As you can see, V1 integrated processor unlocks the full potential of HD noise, noise canceling, canceling processor, Q, N1, plastic free packaging, environmentally conscious. So this is all, again, done by AI. So it's insane. Let's go back to Whisk again. And we need to find an exploded component. Uh, okay, not this. No, this actually looks that good. Honestly, we can kind of work with this one. But yeah, the explosion is too too massive. This one also works. Let's click on save. So now we have two images which we'll use to animate animate, which we'll use to animate our hero section. Now let's go to flow real quick. This is flow. So to go to flow, open a new tab and search for flow by Google. Once you uh once you search, click on the very first link and you'll be redirected to flow by Google. Now I would I would suggest you to get a pro subscription of Google one that way you can have higher limits on flow and generate more videos. Let's click on new project real quick. And under the new project, let's actually click on frames to video and let's grab the first frame. Let's click on upload. So click on. Open. Let's drag and drop the other shot and paste it here. And then all you simply have to do is go to this particular document, which 
I'll provide you the link of this in the description. Smoothie transition from the assembled product to exploded view, slow motion, professional internal tech showcase, up Apple style animation, high quality professional 3D explosion show, slow with professional disassembly of the parts before showing exploded view. So this is very important because, you know, AI doesn't understand the word explosion very well. Let's flip this up. As you can see, let's make it make make two generations at once. Let's click on shoot. So until the generation is going on, open another tab and search for ease GIF video to image. The goal here is to convert the video into multiple frames. Maybe, you know, if it's 30 frames a second, so we'll have 30 frame for each second, which kind of equates to 240 frames. So yeah, we'll get 240 images of the video, which can be slowly, you know, used in when we're scrolling, it can be used to show us the whole disassembly of the product. So again, it looks extremely premium. Let's act quickly have a look here. So this one, this one looks pretty good. Let's download the upscale version. Honestly, I prefer the one on the left better. Now, obviously, if you do more generations and if you tweak the prompt slightly as per requirement, you can obviously get better outputs and make sure that the, your end image and your start image is exactly what you want. So once it's done, let's actually head over to ease GIFs and let's actually, so and this is downloading. So once this is downloaded, let's download it again. As you can see, this is down downloading. Let's actually go and put it in here. And then there's an option to upload. It's uploading the video right now. Once the video uploading is done, we'll... So as you can see, we have the video right here. Let's make, let's crank up the FPS to 30. We can convert to JPG. And yeah, it's converting it into uh, into frames. Let's let this download. And yeah, I think we have all the frames. Let's click on download frames as zip. Let's name it as exploded view of telephone sony come see well this is done let's now go and install anti-gravity so to, to do that so to do that on mac just search for google anti now you usually have a tech stack the tech stack which we are building this on is node node.js uh, we'll be using node.js for this particular this whole experience let's click on download for mac os and you'll get a dmg file once you get a dmg file sign in with an account which has Google Pro to get the higher limits. And then once that's all done, simply just, once that's all done, go to node node.js.org and download Node.js for Mac. So it's Mac installer, download the package here and then run the package and install Node.js. Once this Node.js installation is done, copy this whole command on clipboard. And you know, the next thing you should do is go on Go on your desktop, click on new folder. Let's name it as 10,000 10K USD award winning website. So once you, once you type this out, double click, and then make sure that this folder is selected when you're doing selection inside Google anti-gravity. So. So once your folder is open, obviously you will not see any of this because I just added all of this here. The next thing you need to do is go to downloads and unzip the folder, which contains all the frames. So let's search for it. As you can see here it is, let's unzip this real quick. Click on uh, press command C to copy the folder. Go to Google anti-gravity and, and click on command V to paste the folder. Once this is done, Go under terminal. Again, if you're doing a fresh installation, this is what you need to do. Copy all this code, paste it here, and then click on enter. Now I've already installed node, so I don't have to. Now once this is done, simply go to the doc, which I've given you and grab this whole prompt and just paste it to the right side, <clears throat> right here, and use Gemini 3 Pro High because it gives the best output. And that's about it. Once you click on shoot, it's gonna do its thinking and you know you can tweak it a bit, tweak it a little, stuff like that. And once it's done, it's gonna give you a localhost URL. For that, you need to run the following commands. 
you need to run the following commands uh, which says cd sony mxx experience npm install npm run dev and you'll get a local host url just go to the local host url and you'll be able to access your access your website that's kind of about it you can generate all these individual components on your own i just showed you how to do it the rest is up to you sky is the limit build what you can do let me know what you think <clears throat> thanks for watching i'll see you next one